So now that we've used the Flash & Go update to install uh, Rocco through the internet, I'll show you how to use Flash & Go update in offline mode. This is uh, pretty handy if you have a whole host of devices around which are not connected to the internet. You just want to prepare a stick and mass deploy an operating system. And for this scenario, I've decided that we'll actually use Android because why not? Let's do it. So once again, we head to our trusty website and find our product. It's the same procedure as in the previous tutorials and you should be pretty familiar with it by now, if you have been following along that is. So head over to the software section and this time we will be installing Android 7.1. If you remember in the last uh, tutorial we were installing Flash & Go update and we will be using that uh, the USB stick we prepared there for this tutorial here. So since we will be using offline mode, uh, just having Flash & Go update on the stick won't suffice. We'll have to actually put some uh, operating system package onto that. So um, yeah, head over to Android. And uh, at the time of this recording of this, uh, of this screencast, the 5.0 is actually the latest version. But um, in the live recording we have been installing 4.0, so we'll do that now. But the process will be the same for 5.0. <laughs> either way. So head over to the image folder and you can see there are a lot more files for the Android uh, package than there are for the for the Rocco package. And I've actually gone ahead and downloaded those uh, into my USB stick. So as you can see this is my USB stick and it's still set up for Flash & Go update. And the only difference now is that inside the PKG folder I've created a new folder called my software package with Android and inside that folder I have put all the installation files that I downloaded from the website, as you can see here. So um, now when we use the stick to boot into our device, this software will be available in offline mode. So let's uh, do that now. Be sure, as usual, to um, safely eject your update stick. And uh, head over to your Gods on Fricky device. As in the previous video, insert it into your device and watch Flash and Go system boot up. This will take a moment. Again, the perfect opportunity for a sip of fresh coffee. And if you don't have coffee at hand, you can use tea, of course, or any other beverage. And well, because our device is actually connected to the internet, uh, Flash and Go Update will boot into online mode. So let's change that, hit options, and switch over to offline mode. Hit the enable button, and click on rescan. And now it will only show the packages that are present on the USB stick. As you can see, there are three packages, and only one is the Android that we put on the stick in the screencast, because at the time of the live recording, there were two more packages present on the stick. So in our example, there would only be the Android package available. So from here on, it's the same as the online installation. You just hit install, then you confirm and wait for the installation to finish. And the only difference this time around will be that we will be booting into a pretty new Android installation. Hit yes to confirm that you'd like to boot into your new installation. Pull the stick, watch your system reboot, and there's the Android logo. Well, I guess all I've left to say then is Thanks for tuning in on our tutorial series about installing an operating system to your Gatson Flicker device. Um, I showed you five different ways, three of which were manual update procedures and one was using our um, visual Flash & Go installer. Um, yeah, so if you liked the tutorial, please subscribe to our channel, um, hit the like button because that makes me very happy. And um, don't forget, we still and always will make it yours.